all of you welcome back once again so today i'm going to share my personal template which i use for my solana project for building any type of application on the solana blockchain and that's helped me a lot to faster my development and test all the contract which i develop for different application because all the tools all the framework which is required to interact with the solana blockchain that's all i have included in my template so it's make my development very fast and that's what i'm going to share with you all right now in this video so this is the entire template which i have if i show you in the browser that's how it's going to look we have the functionality which allow us to simply interact with the contract so if i click here i can easily able to interact with my wallet provider i can disconnect and i can click here and i can simply connect my wallet with the phantom and here i have all the feature you can literally convert and use it for any application so if i take you to the code structure all you have to do is to simply provide the address of your contract and the api so here you will find my component inside that i have Currently, I'm testing for the real state. That's why you can see it's a real state app. If I click here, this is the all functionality which I have included. I have done all the setup. So all you have to do is to simply get the address of your contract. So in the last video, I have explained that how you can get the address of your contract. So if I come back in the browser, you can see this is the Solana playground and this is the contract which I have deployed in the last time. So all you have to do is to simply get the contract this is the, the contract address or you can simply come back here you can simply copy the project id and that's what you can provide right up here so i can simply provide here i got the address of my project now i have to get the api of the contract which is called idl so if i come back to the content you can see this is the entire api of all the functionality which i have included in the contract so if i come back here you can see this is the entire contract and i have to generate the idea so once you will deploy your contract you will find that here you will have bunch of options you can literally interact with your contract right from here or you can simply come back here and here you will find an option called idl because we have used anchor framework for deploying our contract and developing this contract so anchor automatically generate the idle file for you which you can use it for interacting with the contract so i can simply come back here and i can simply find multiple options so i can simply import export and initialize it and i want to use the abi of the contract which i can use in my project so i can simply click on this export and here i got it now what i will do i'll simply come back here i can go back to the download section and there you will find this is the file i got it now all i have to do is to simply replace the file I'll simply delete this one delete this one and i'll simply minimize this and i'm going to simply come back here and i'm going to simply bring right up here this is the entire area of the contract and all the feature listing we have the buy property we have the sell property we have the get property by user get property details and here we have the function which allow us to interact right data in the contract on the blockchain that's all you will find so once we get the abi and once we get the addresses now you are ready to interact with the contract and make all the transaction you can see we are using all the popular library which is very important if you really want to work on a solana environment so you can see we are using the wallet adapter which allow us to connect with the wallet and get the signer object which we're going to pass for confirming the transaction and paying the gas consumption you can see we have the multi wallet button which allows to connect with the phantom wallet or any other solana wallet here we are using the solana web3 package which allows us to communicate with our contract so we are getting the public key transaction and system program where we have to pass then we have the state there we have the provider because we are using anchor for developing our contract which take most of our work away from us so we are using the anchor provider program and web3 and here we are importing the idle file here we are generating our program id this is the network where I have deployed the contract and here we are building all the connections. So first I'm building the connection. This is the public ID for sending the transaction in the wallet. Then we have the details about the, the details which we have to pass in the contract like property, price, description, user, property details. And here the one thing you have to do is to get your provider. So you have to run this particular function. And that's what we are using. You can see we are using this anchor provider. The setup is already done. All you have to do is to simply provide this relevant information. So we get this provider and here we have to simply come. You can simply activate this and you have to get your idle file, which is coming from here. You can get your program ID and you can get your get provider. In that way, you can able to have the entire contract where you can simply do the interaction and call all of this function. So you can simply open this one. We are calling this program. And in which we are making all the contract interaction and passing all the data in the soul. You can see we got the signer object. So that's how you can simply build any kind of project. And this is the template which I follow personally when I have to build any project for the Solana because it's faster my development very quickly because this is what exactly we have to use if you want to make interaction with the blockchain. This is what you need. 
all you have to do is to customize the function based on the data based on the price and based on the logic which you want to include in your contract and the way you want to execute in the front end side so that's the only thing you have to do got it i simply comment this one and now i can come back here go back to this and then you will find all the functionality we have i can simply able to fetch the property all of these things i can do because there is no transaction at the moment in the contract because just now i've deployed and currently i'm testing the application and all the feature so that's how you can simply make your work very faster so no matter what project you are working on you have to build your own template if you are building any type of decentralized app for ethereum or evm compatible chain or any other blockchain build your template build your template we have tons of project on our channel i would highly encourage you to come back to the blockchain coder there you will find bunch of project bunch of project you will find come back here in the source code section there you will find bunch of project we have built download the starter file and start following the tutorial because in the starter file all of the packages which you need to communicate evm compatible blockchain like ethereum polygon binance or any other blockchain evm compatible chain you can simply find the template and you can simply start building on top of that in that way it help you to faster you develop you will not waste your time doing all the setups which is very regular and you don't want to do that so here come here and build at least five project build at least five products start with this nft marketplace then start building the unisop exchange clone after that build the chat application then we have tons of projects some simply chat application take all the project we have if you want to master rust programming language build this particular rust project it's a basic one but it will give you a better idea if you want to focus more on the solana development so we have a token created for solana blockchain you can simply follow this particular project so build project come here and check and find the basic project which i have told you and start working on top of that in that way you will learn faster and you will have the idea that which direction you are going what are the tools are required for building any type of application whether it's for solana or whether it's for evm compatible chain so that's the only thing i want to talk about i hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to take the approach how you can build the thing faster and how you can simply learn so that's the only thing from my end if you have any question in doubt to let me in the comment section i'll definitely try to help in that how wonderful bye, -bye.